Hey, Kermies. Hey, Kermie. Hey, Kermie. Two ah, Kermies. Guys, guys, we've already been over this. Hey, isn't it cool that Alice in Chains wrote a song just about you guys? Oh, hey, that's yeah, pretty that's good. Right, well, that's, ah! that's the song we're going to learn today. <laughs> the unplugged version. It's going to be great for, get comfortable, Brady Smith, Ian Vega, Dylan Glorioso, what a glorious name, Matthew Beatty, Connor Larkin, Jack Sarmento, sounds like a delicious cheese, Maximus Williams, Sawaki, Lillen Freeman, Yahir Munoz, Matej Kismar, Matthew Kruger, Joe Lou, Dos Koi, The Ultimate Nugget, and Raymond Ray. Ray Ray, and since I'm reading the phone book, it'd be a great time to take a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. It's the John Squad, John Keller, and Jonathan. <laughs> Johns, thank you very much for your support. <laughs> and if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. I made you a tab. I made me a tab, but you might as well get it to go follow along. It's free. RyanLent.com. Show notes. But the title, of course, is in super secret backwards code, so no miscreants can horn in on our useless information. What's the opposite of frogs? Obviously, Miss Piggies. And it's an Alice in Chains song, so your guitar has to go down one half step if you're going to play along with the, you know, with the performance. If you're going to play it by yourself... That's fine, you don't have to do anything, but if you're gonna play along with Alice in Chains, your E string needs to go to E flat, your A string needs to go to A flat, your D string needs to go to D flat, G string to G flat, B string to B flat, and E string to E flat. Congratulations, your guitar is now detuned, D-E tuned, one half step down. Now we're ready to go. Take your middle finger and put it on A4. Ring finger goes on D3. We want our pointer fingers available for doing stuff. Or you might find a different way you like doing this, but this is how I'm going to do it. Pluck the open E string, followed by the A string, followed by the D string. That's three notes. We're going to do it four times. One, two, three, four. And then pluck the E string fourth fret and the D string, just how it is followed by the E string third fret and the D string just how it is. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is not just a random pattern. We did four sets of three, so 12 notes, right? And then the last little bunch there has four notes, so the whole thing adds up to 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Things must be divisible by 4. That's why this makes sense. When the singing starts, you're going to love this. It's this. Pluck your open E string. Then bend your G string 6th fret. Open E. B5. Open E. G6-0, open E, harmonic on the B string 7th fret. Then, pluck your open E string followed by your D string 5th fret. And then it's the end of the intro hunk. E4, D5, E3, D5. So the whole thing is this. Except for the very last time, going into the different section when Lane holds out his woo, the end of it is not four three, it's five four. So everything else is the same, but we're going into G. So if we went four three, we'd have nowhere to go. But we're going A G sharp G. So that's why that, and you'll be like this. G section, which is just like the intro in that it's a sets of three thing, but this time we're starting on a regular old G power chord, three, five, five, and we're going to pluck those notes, and then the A string moves down one fret to four with your middle finger, so, and you just do that four times. One, two, three, four. That's six notes times four is 24, so everything checks out. 
At a minute 48, the thing in, in the unplugged performance that's, that I guess that's over there, is usually like this, right? The end piece is something different and just once, and I don't know why, but I'm just the messenger. I don't need to know why. It's this. You plug A4, D open, followed by E6, D5, and E5, D5. So I would do pointer finger, middle finger, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger. That's the best way I can come up with to do it. Or you just do it the old way. Don't do that at all. Do the regular thing. That's fine. In truth, in that section, the two guitars are kind of bouncing around and not doing exactly the same thing as each other. Um, so you can do this or not, but if you want. We've made it to the next G section. Hopefully you remembered to do your 5-4 instead of your 4-3 into the and so forth. But at the end of this G section, it gets cut into by the why does it have to be this way section. And here's what you do. E4, A3, D5, one more E4, that's four notes. Then you make a C power chord. Your hand is actually in a very convenient position to make a C power chord. Pointer and ring fingers are already in the right spot. Pinky finger goes down on G5. Play that once. And then pinky finger comes off, letting the G string fall down to three, which is where your pointer finger should be stationed. And then you go into C at nine. And that's it. Jerry's got his own part there. They're both good. It's hard to decide which to do. Grab A10, A11. I like my pointer finger for both those because now we're going to grab D13 and D12. I did ring middle, followed by G12, B13, back to G12, and then bend B15, B13, and G12. Whosever part you decided to do there at the end of it, you play a big G chord. And we're almost to the home stretch in the outro. Jerry starts messing around with some harmonics. You have some choices. He's got the 12th fret of all the strings. He's got the 5th fret of most of the strings. And then he bounces back and forth between G5 and B7. And the very last thing is the outro noodle. This thing makes no sense, so it's really great. Here we go. Bend A4, E open, bend G3, D4 to 5, up to G3, A4 to 5, up to D4, and then E3, A open. Here's the rhythm to the very best of my ability. Thanks so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with non-frog stuff. Goodbye.